Was it right? What I did? Ask me again in 10 years. Try not to worry, Ollie. I've been worrying about John for years. He always comes back. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones video. In this video, we will be discussing the new information regarding the Jon Snow series and development at HBO. For those of you who might not know, HBO and Mr. Harrington have been developing a new show focusing on the adventures of Jon Snow. It's said that this new show will go into what has been happening with Jon Snow ever since we last saw him heading north of the Wall for a destination unknown. As of right now, HBO still hasn't released their own official announcement about this series, although we've already heard Amelia and George R. R. Martin confirm it themselves. Ever since Jon Snow was last seen with Ghost and the Wildlings, none of us are exactly sure what this show would be about. Will it focus on Jon as he's north of the Wall, or will something make him go south, essentially throwing him right back into the Game of Thrones? I think I can speak for most of us when I say I'm excited either way. I'm always down for some more Game of Thrones, so I'll watch just about anything they give me, so long as it's good. Well, according to this new information, it looks like the Jon Snow show might be a lot further along in the developmental phase than we initially thought. In a new article released only yesterday, it states Game of Thrones fans spot a major clue hinting that the Jon Snow series is well underway. Like I said, HBO has yet to confirm any of this, but fans are already thinking we're looking in the right direction. Now that the new House Targaryen series, House of the Dragon, has officially debuted with rave reviews, Game of Thrones fans can't wait to see what's next for the franchise. And it seems that the long-rumored Jon Snow sequel series might actually be happening. The hint was originally uploaded on Reddit, where one of the users wrote, Daniel West, who was one of the writers on the movie Gunpowder starring Kit Harington, has this on his profile. So, as we expected, he's most likely working with Mr. Harrington on the Jon Snow sequel. And we now have confirmation that this will be a limited series. It has this listed on his agent's website. As you can see, it says Daniel West has a limited series in development at HBO. And for the record, Gunpowder was also a miniseries that was made with HBO, so we know Daniel has worked with them before, alongside Kit Harington. Now, some of you may be wondering, who the hell is Daniel West, other than someone who wrote on a movie that starred Kit Harington? Well, Mr. West is also his real-life best friend. He's the giant glass of water right here. They actually shared a house for over a decade. This was discussed when the rumor first came out that West would most likely be on the writing staff for the Snow Show, as he has been Kit's writing partner and a co-owner of their company, Thriger Films. It was further given legitimacy when Martin mentioned Harrington's team and a sighting from a fan last year when Dan and Kit were on their way to a meeting in New York City. So, not only are they best friends who lived together for over a decade, but they've also already worked on a HBO miniseries, and they have their own company with one another. Well, now this makes a lot of sense. I can certainly understand why he will be writing on the Jon Snow sequel series. On George R. R. Martin's Not A Blog website, he did mention how Harrington had his own writers and directors for the new show him and HBO at are developing. If you haven't seen it, or don't remember, George R. R. Martin said, yes, there is a Jon Snow show in development, and as of right now, the working name for the show is Snow. There are four live-action successor shows in development at HBO. Word got out about three of them a while ago. Those shows are 10,000 Ships, a show about Nymeria, helmed by Amanda Siegel. One of the other ones is Sea Snake, aka The Nine Voyages, with Bruno Heller. And then there is the Duncan Egg Show, The Hedge Knight, or A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, who's written by Steve Conrad. I think some of these were officially announced. In other cases, the news did leak out. This stuff always seems to leak. There's so many involved, like writers, agents, and everyone has assistants, and there's always a guy who runs the Xerox machine. So it's hard to make sure these things stay a secret. The Snow Show has been in development almost as long as the other three, but for whatever reason, it was never announced, and it never leaked, until now. But yes, it is true. This was not an official announcement from HBO, so it seems there was another leak. I did a long interview with James Hibbard last week for the Big House of the Dragon story that The Hollywood Reporter is releasing. At the end of that interview, he did ask me a few questions about the successor shows. He said, is it likely that one of the shows is a sequel rather than a prequel? He asked, and I answered no comment. 
Then he asked is it likely that a member of the original show is involved, and again, I answered no comment. And that was all. But he must have found someone more forthcoming than me. Who? I don't know. And I suspect I never will. A good journalist never reveals his sources. There's not much more I can say right now, not until HBO gives me a green light. It seems as though Amelia has already mentioned that Snow was Kit's idea in a recent interview, so that's already out there. Yes, it was Harrington who brought the idea to us, and I cannot tell you the names of the writers or showrunners since that has not been cleared for release yet. But I can say that he brought them in too, his own guys, and they are terrific. Well, we now know who at least one of these writers are, and that's his best friend Daniel West. Hopefully, with the incredible success of House of the Dragon, HBO will be eager to get more Song of Ice and Fire shows off the ground. Now that they know a large number of the fans are back and hungry for more, I'm sure they will find a way to keep us fed. With the amount of successor shows they already have in development, I'm sure at least one more of them will be given the green light. I don't know about all of you, but I'm hoping it does involve at least one show that has some level of focus on House Stark. As you all know, I was very heartbroken when the Long Night series was shut down. My favorite aspect of A Song of Ice and Fire or Game of Thrones has always been everything surrounding the North, from Winterfell to the Lands of Always Winter, and its mysteries and secrets. I've always wanted to know more about how Stark's ancestral home of Winterfell, and their ancestral Valyrian steel sword Ice, and its connection with the White Walkers. I also want to know if the Starks are actually related to the White Walkers in some way, because I've always believed that they are. I want to know about the early days of the Night's Watch and how it was founded, as well as how the Children of the Forest and the Giants made that big-ass wall of ice. I want to see the 13th Lord Commander and his wife from beyond the wall, along with so many other interesting and mysterious things. I want to go deep below the ground in the crypts of Winterfell to its lowest levels to see what's really down there. So, if they do greenlight another show, I hope it's able to shed some light on what I mentioned. Maybe the new Jon Snow series can somehow give me just that. But if not, like I said before, I will be excited either way. I'm always down for some more Game of Thrones. If I find out any more information, I will let you know as soon as I do. Make sure you subscribe so you will know whenever I release a new video. There are a lot more heading your way. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching the video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.